Can we skip to the good part? You've arrived at your destination. Good morning and welcome to 2024. I'm in an employee parking lot. I'll save that one. And running a little bit behind, but I have 20 minutes. I'm not working this first leg of the trip. Um, so that's nice. I get to read my book, maybe watch a movie. We're heading to Cancun. So that's really fun. Um, I've only ever been to Cancun in passing when I was heading to Tulum. And if you want to check out my Tulum vlog, I'll link it down below. Or you can also search on my channel. Oh my God. The airplanes are so loud because the employee parking lot is right by the runway. So I'll talk to you when I get inside. I am in Miami. Have not been the best at keeping up with you guys, but we're on the plane now. Thank you. Haven't um, been keeping up with y'all that much, but I'm going to try my best. Put all the stuff away. We're heading into Cancun and we're already a bit delayed. Uh, this flight was coming in from an international destination, so they had stuff that they had to do. So, I sized up, but it's still a little bit tight, but it's not bad. Alright, I'll be right back. through of the beautiful hotel room please go and check out my tiktok video i did um a longer video and it was so beautiful because it was my initial impressions of the room which is absolutely stunning like it's not the biggest hotel room it's definitely not the smallest but i feel like the intention with detail is absolutely amazing so the bathroom was on the right from when we walked in and it has the shower and the toilet now i love black finishes in the shower in the bathroom area i just think it's so sleek and beautiful and this goes to show that you can add it with a lot of different colors i mean this is like a, i don't even know what kind of blue this tile is but a lot of people think the bathroom if you have black finishes in the bathroom it's so dark and dreary but this I don't know it eats <laughs> it eats now the shower and the toilet was in that individual room and the vanity is in its own little corner along with the closet which is a open concept closet you can see straight into the bedroom side of the hotel room and yeah one thing that I noted while doing my first TikTok video is that they made use of the space with this ironing board it's an ironing board closet so as you can see the ironing board <laughs> how many times am I gonna say that and the iron which is right down at the bottom is very dark on this camera the was it exposure is kind of dark in some areas so if you want to check out my TikTok, or I'm gonna try to get as many well-lit shots in the daytime as I can but yeah I just love this bathroom I think it's beautiful the tile transfers in from the shower area into the vanity <laughs> very intentional very beautiful i love it i love 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 it then you have the full body mirror right here which if you know you know bacana loves a full body mirror like i just feel like you have to be able to see your whole entire outfit your whole from head to toe you need to see what's going on with the look 
some hotels miss out on a full body moment but they did it well now there's wallpapers all throughout the room when you're watching this part of the clip if you want to pause and check out the individual wallpapers i just think it's very beautiful very beautiful and here we are in the bedroom section another thing that i noted in my tiktok video you should go check it out is that they're very intentional with their lighting and i just i love it i love the lights around the headboard which if you look they do have like a base headboard i'm gonna get closer in on it but then the whole thing itself is the headboard how amazing like i don't know i'm getting so inspired i think it's beautiful i love it i very love it i love it uh we have the thermostat here i hope that was the right word we have a mini fridge our coffee and tea station tv of course sorry my hands in the way and our table and chair and now like i said we have two double beds which i love one for eating and laughing and kikiing and the next one for reading and sleeping and relaxing let me get closer in on the detail that i was telling you guys about earlier which i like it i like the different shades of blue that they're playing on throughout the room i think it's very beautiful and i'm not really a blue girly but they do it so well the next thing that i love is this light fixture i really love a hanging light i love a ball light i love a glass light and they got all three in one so i love that and now let's head on over we don't really have much of a view as you can see it peeking through the curtains it's just a little you know city view on the other side of the hotel is the marina or the ocean whatever it may be there's a body of water on the other side but we don't have that today and then we have our little seating area another big mirror and i don't know if you guys saw when we were just over in the corner there but there's a whole canopy it's so beautiful that's what this is called right whatever it's called it's very mexico coded and i love that i i'm gonna be opening up the blinds and sitting down tomorrow and just looking out while i get ready for work it's it looks it doesn't look the most comfortable i'm not gonna lie but i think i think it's gonna be I think it's going to be. And I love how they play on textures in this room. There's so many things that I can get in from the 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 um the stands for the the table, the bed, the carpet, the textures and the cushions. Let me just show you that really quickly while I can. And obviously the texture in that seating area the tiles the wood even though this is flat the texture that it's it's kind of giving like a 3d look i don't know there's so much about this room that i love and i said it on tiktok every time i turn around i see something new i really really love it and yeah stay tuned for the rest of my mexico vlog i'll see you guys probably in the morning or as i'm getting on ready for the night Bye. update i got a new fridge <laughs> because the one in the um, mini fridge section or you know this one isn't working so we got a new fridge and it's so cute i like the coca-cola branding i would literally put this in my suitcase and bring it if i could so i'm gonna watch it, it it's a little echoey i'm gonna watch it and uh, just hope to god that it gets cold if not i'm gonna be eating all my food tonight because i didn't really cool my food today traveling so i'm like okay it could sit out for my travel time i'll push it i'm not gonna die but i can't have it out overnight too and I expect to eat it tomorrow so i will be eating everything if this doesn't get cold tonight i don't know when it became 12 o'clock but it became 12 o'clock pretty darn fast so i need to i need to go to sleep but here i was thinking that i was gonna watch one of my episodes which i may still watch but when did it become 12 o'clock so fast all right we are in bed 
I love the fact that I say we because when I say we I literally mean us you who are watching and I now this is my food from yesterday the mini fridge is cold it got cold real quick I got a little snack -a doodle got my water that I'm drinking I'm about to charge my watch in a second and my laptop I already have a YouTube video ready to go out tomorrow and tomorrow I'm gonna edit a video for Wednesday um, that video I'm excited to edit it but it's not the most happy vlog you've seen by now I went to Jamaica for a funeral so I was gonna edit that one a while ago but I feel like I kept I keep pushing myself away from editing and I feel like that's what I did the whole like second half of 2023s keep getting into my head about like oh, how much I miss that moment or how much that moment made me sad so like I didn't want to revisit it in editing you know so I really want to get these videos that I have built up or saved up edited so I can edit as I go edit as I go because when I push things off to like let's say this video this video I'm not gonna edit for a good two weeks probably which I'm gonna really try to not do I'm gonna try to get everything out so I don't have to wait so long to edit sorry I'm rambling just give me one second so I can get to the point um I'm so tired <laughs> I'm so tired I've been traveling from this morning uh, yesterday morning but I don't even know what I want to say I need to eat and I need to go to sleep I will see you guys in the morning uh, at the gym good night And it's just so cute. The stations are lovely, well put together, and everything. I already um, shared out my food, so I'm gonna show you guys what my food looks like. But this is how the stations are all set up. All right, let's head over to the table, and I'll show you what my dinner, is, my breakfast is looking like. <laughs> You're so good. I did. Nice little gym. I did a nice long, high inclined walk. Really nice. But I like them. You know. Where's your restaurant? In Brooklyn. Pickup time is in 12 minutes. Okay, definitely not 12 minutes. It's in about. Hold on, my hair. I'm sitting on it. It's in about um, 30 minutes and I've already showered and you know, oh this is making me dizzy. Um, I've already showered and did all that good stuff. It was such a short layover. If we left around 1 o'clock, I was even saying this to my crew member, if we left around 1 o'clock, I would have definitely gone to the beach or gone to the mall but we leave at we our pickup time is at 11 25 and we leave at one if we got picked up at one and we left at like three not even and we left at like yeah 255 three then i wouldn't mind that at all like so much more to do but unfortunately it's just so quick I didn't even get to lay out that's how short it is like I didn't even get to get some sun under my skin you know it it's sad is what it is but um yeah it is what it is I go to LA day after tomorrow and then Kingston after that so what I think I'm gonna do is put this video with the LA and Kingston video 
so it's gonna be a long vlog I'm gonna go get ready when I got my uniform on my suitcase packed I will come back to you guys all ready to go outfit and my heels bags packed just need to grab my jacket see ya alright guys had to get the good lighting Whew. the sun is actually bearing down on me so I'm only trying to get this nice good one cute shot um, but we are ready to go everybody's trying to get the good lighting right <laughs> It is. And I was sitting cross-legged on the chair and the pavement. I wasn't feeling the sun like I normally do. Laying over there so much at that time that the manager, <laughs> I just go, he, I would come in and he, we'd all be signing. All right, guys. I will see you when I get back to New York. We um did all our pre-flights and everything. We board in about 15 minutes. Um, out of breath because I'm hot. But the aircraft is cooling us down. I wish we had some of those cool bucket hats that they get. Sorry. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So we're headed to Chicago. Then I think Chicago to LA. I'll get to LA around 12 something. Sorry. Is that you again? Hi. How are you? I'm good. I thought you were leaving. I know. I'm in this work. <laughs> We're gonna have to catch up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I flew him months ago. I flew him months ago. He's like, I'm done. I'm not doing this job because we were both like pretty new. Um, we were on probation together. I think it was like probably a month ahead of me or a month behind me. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Um. So we were both new together, and he was like, I don't like how it's so inconsistent and whatever whatever and he was basically like i'm out of here so i was like please don't go and we laughed and kiki and talked and it was so much fun because we only worked one leg to la and then we got Welcome to deadhead to back so that was just so amazing and fun um that was a great trip that was a great trip uh, so it's funny how we're going back to la again and then jamaica tomorrow <laughs> anyways i'll catch you guys in la I've taken down my hair I need to oil my scalp but the ends are still looking cute they're not looking bad right they look cute <laughs> in person at least um super duper long though yeah I'm just wearing black shirt shorts and my adidas uh, it's the same thing you're probably gonna see me in tomorrow in Kingston not a lie probably the same outfit but we're gonna walk to in and out me and my crew members and i'm gonna go up on tumblr real quick because there's a specific order that i want to get from um in and out i had to take my makeup off because i need to give my face a break and i'm gonna go to the gym after so yeah i was listening to a song and guys i don't know why i have to this song bad 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 so let me show you in and out for the people who aren't from the west coast um region we just flew three hours from chicago to texas to try in and out don't run with me we just flew three hours from Chicago to Texas to try in and out for the first time, and this is what we think. First off, for $16, it was a great deal because look at all the food we got. We got the double-double animal style, and it was pretty bomb, especially if you add a little extra of the spread. Everything tasted fresh, and the quality was actually really good for fast food. We also tried the animal style. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the animal style. That's, that's the order that they said that you have to try. I'm going to read the comments and see what other people are recommending and i'm gonna do that now la is cold to me at least so i got my jacket here uh, my bag that i always walk with i need to get a new one now and my um adidas jacket wow like i'm fully adidas out 
Coco Adidas. This one is super old though, but I really like it. Old and cute. And I got my water, my card, my room key. And that's all I need. My phone. And let's go. Alright, here's my full outfit. It's off the, the beaten path. It is off the beaten path. <laughs> These are the moments that we live for. Yes. Oh, Crew members in the wild. Crew members in the wild. <laughs> So we are walking to in and out now and Israel is the funniest. <laughs> Israel, we told Israel 10 minutes. It's not. Um, <laughs> and they knew it wasn't no damn 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like 10 minutes? I mean, to be fair. Huh, what would I consider 10 minutes? in total in the hotel. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. You told me what? <laughs> What the fuck y'all didn't tell me that's 20. 20, no. 20 something minutes. I yeah. asked you where you were going. You never said it was. No I thought you said how long. Minutes. Right. How long? No, how long before you're ready to go? Wow. And you said 3.30. But did you think it was going to be like up the street? Uh, yeah, like across the street where the rest <laughs> of the goddamn restaurants are. <laughs> uh, well, you're more than well, halfway there now. I'm right. by my goddamn self. We're well, almost halfway there. So, I mean, at this point. Sorry, guys. The um, you know, camera lens clip is hitting. That's what you're hearing. But the Uber back is $7. So, if we can pay with the Uber back. I didn't even bring my phone. You didn't bring your phone? You didn't bring your phone? No. What? I thought I, thought I was going across the street. Hi. Oh, my God. Y'all trampling through the woods and by railroad tracks. <laughs> the woods. Wait, you didn't even bring your phone. It's killing me. But yeah, no, no, I'm not leaving my phone. Not leaving. Because I thought I was gonna be in and out. <laughs> that was a Touché. good one. That was a good one. That should be in marketing. Yeah. Thought I heard something. Oh, I let go. Railroad tracks, track. Huh? I think the sign was on the other side. We ain't rolling. I'm not going over here where the snakes are. <laughs> We're going to have to cross that sound. These are where the snakes are. Mm -hmm. Them Freddy Freddy guys. Well, Israel. <laughs> Sorry. He's there. We're, We're homeless. Lost. We're homeless. We're lost. Now's our chance. Yeah. It's not far. We're so close. Once we go under this thing, and go around the corner and walk a couple more minutes. We're there. We're Basically. There. We're there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just you you just have to know. Be just, open. Yeah. Be open. <laughs> this is the one thing. Sorry, my hands shaking. This is the Stop. one thing that I was talking about. Once you go under this, go around the corner, on another corner, over this way, and straight for about a couple more minutes, you're there. <laughs> okay, here is In and Out. We finally made it. Bam. Ooh, sorry, I didn't know I was in there. Yes, um, there's something that I have. I don't know how to order it. But can I? Like, you get these animal style and make sure you eat them. The animal style so this is what I got a double double animal style burger and an animal fry I'm 59 you're 60 61 I got mine to go, but it looks cute nonetheless. And then everybody else got theirs in a cute little container. Because we thought we were eating here. I know, I gotta, I'm gonna eat here too. I just wanna have it to go when I'm ready to get the hell up out of here. Oh, that's the question. I wanna get a nice little shot of y'all food. This is what it's looking like. 
That's the animal? Yeah, the animal style. What's the price? I think so. Mm. I mean, I got a good shot for y'all. But she put her drink right here and she sat down in the car and locked the door and I'm like I knew she was gonna do that so we're gonna see what happens oh this is this is oh <laughs> She don't remember that drink. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's an alcohol. This is gone. And it's staying still. She's gonna come back now and realize that it's there. Nope, she's gone. Guys, she got it. And how much is theirs? 16. Get the we just got back to the hotel. I've changed into my workout outfit and I'm going down to the gym. So we did literally like a, a 40 minute walk. It was round trip, 40 minutes. And I'm gonna go do my upper body workout. I've been trying to build my arms. Oh, that looks real boxy but trust me don't look that boxy trying to build my arms work on my back work on my shoulder and i need to figure out a way to start incorporating some abs into my upper body shoulder back day i'm just trying to figure it out i think and i want to do more than like two weeks more than two days of abs so i don't know how i'm gonna incorporate it maybe i'll do it because i do my upper body on tuesdays and thursdays maybe i'll do tuesday thursday saturdays upper body um ab days so i'll just figure out i don't want my workout to become too much because i do cardio at least for this challenge i'm doing cardio every single day um in some type of walk walking format i don't you know run and sprint and do all them some day every day but i do it two times a week and then everything else is a walk at a high incline and a relatively high speed for 30 minutes so i'm on my menstrual cycle i'm not in the mood to do any sprints i may challenge myself at the end of my workout to do five sprints just to get my heart rate going up but i'm definitely about to go just do my upper body and figure out how i'm gonna work out my abs um which you do get from doing uh cardio um but i want something that targets the muscles specifically and yeah that's all i just wanted to share that part with you guys when i come back i'm gonna get ready wind down for the night because we do have an early pickup literally 5 30 a.m so that means i have to get up probably at 4 15 um yeah 4 15 is a good time to get up <sighs> i'll see you all tomorrow i'm in kingston and i'm just gonna be so stinking happy bye when the sun comes on in the club they stop to the tips on top like damn that's hot lobby that's where the fireplace was last night i think i may fix my bun it's so comfortable but it's not cute so yeah i don't know anywho um i'm here before everybody i think our pickup time is 5 30 but then I wasn't sure if it was 5.23 or if it was 5.30. So I was like, let me get downstairs by at least 5.15. And I got down here by 
it's currently 5 23 so i think the pickup time is 5 30. i'm gonna eat some fruits or i think i may wait as you can tell i'm very indecisive right now i'm definitely gonna start reading my book though because i want to get my reading in before the day gets too long because we're not gonna get to kingston until uh i think i hear more crew member coming not my um flight i'm not gonna get to kingston until after 7 closer to 8 p.m so we have a very long day we're going from la to austin austin to miami then miami to kingston the la to austin and austin to miami are the long flights so yeah we have some more crew members let me come off and be social Guys are turning on the plane and there's no lights. So I'm waiting here because I'm not about to step into hell. There's nothing here. See? Hey, okay, when you have a mind and your trip falls apart, am I Here we go. Okay, I don't know why I can't do that. Good morning. Let's go. One, two, three, two, three. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, you guys already know how this goes. I have to put my bag up. All that good stuff. I was really hoping to eat breakfast before. reading this book it's called six of crows i'm almost halfway there it's my bookmark and have to grab my work device i updated everything yesterday so i just need to turn it on and that's it if i need a pad I'll put that cat in my pocket, child. In my jacket pocket so I can reach it easy. And that's it. The next thing that I grab is a change of shoes. So I put on my flats because, girl, it's a struggle. I'm not trying to hurt myself wearing heels on the plane because you will hurt yourself wearing heels on the plane. <sighs> these heels are from Clark's and these are from Naturalizer. all packed up and ready to go i'll see you guys in austin or miami i'm in miami now and we are heading to kingston the flight was like a bit delayed so we need to hurry and get everybody on so we can get there on time Heading to KFC. Um, it is Milka Ovid. Just a crop top and shorts. since I um, ate breakfast 
But now I'm gonna just go away by the pool. Today's not a very adventurous day. I'm feeling kind of sick and I'm super tired. So I'm just gonna get some sun and go get ready in about the next hour. Almost ready. I'm just gonna do a very, very, very light makeup. It's currently 12.43. Pickup time isn't until another 20 minutes. So I have so much time. I'm just so tired. Oh my god, I'm already tired. I won't be getting home until 11... Um, 11.23, 11.30, thereabouts. Going from Kingston to Miami and then Miami to LaGuardia. Let me show you outside. It's so clear, so beautiful. I can see way, 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 way past Portmore. I can see the tower over the airport. I can see several cruise, not cruise ship, um, cargo ships. Ooh, let me show you. So the camera isn't picking it up as well as my eyes, but it's such a clear day, you would not believe. Like beyond this, like the water, oh, the water, and then that strip of land, I can see beyond that strip of land. But yeah, that's really it. Ready to go. There's Kingston for you. There's the pool. That's where it's at. Time to go. I am in Miami now, and guys, I today witnessed with my own two eyes the longest, 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 longest um, immigration lines that I've ever seen before. Literally, two of them that weren't even in the immigration hall wrapping around each section of. Um, East section of the airport it's ridiculously crazy so I feel bad for all the people that have missed their flights their connections because I know it's wild um, when they would have had enough time but because of constructions they just did not or will not anywho I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe I'm ending it off here I know I didn't do much in Jamaica but for what it's worth, I'm going to try to bid some more to go back. I'm just not feeling well. I'm feeling really, really, really bad. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Hi, B-Squad. Welcome to my room. I am in the Dominican Republic. I'm going to start off to the left. I just want to let you guys know that you can check out my TikTok because they saw it here first. Or I mean TikTok saw it first. But here is a huge full body mirror for those amazing outfit checks before you walk out of the room and those selfies. And then to the right of the entrance, you have a toilet area with a phone. I never know where, like, who, who are you calling in the toilet? But hey. Drop a comment and let me know who you're calling. And then of course, to the left of that is a closet with your slippers, ironing board iron, and your robe, an ample amount of space to hang and fold your clothes for the people that love to unpack on vacation. On top of that, we have a shower and a vanity his and hers vanity that leads straight into the bedroom but before we step into the bedroom area I'm just gonna step back to the left directly in front of the entrance if you kept on walking straight you would have a full body mirror again like I cannot get enough of me I mean come on come on <laughs> but it is huge and I've never seen this before we do have a lot of mirrors in this suite which I'm very grateful for because if you're a girly that wants to make sure you look good before you step out, you'll be seeing every angle. And then, of course, the suite with a king size.
my watch already clocked 75 minutes out of 45 anyways because all that dang walking that we had to do in Miami they counted that as a workout so I guess I could sneak and count that as my workout no truly if my heart rate was increasing and it asked me if I was working out then I was working out mm -hmm. <laughs> we just came off these carts and there's a whole entire shopping center in the resort i'll link the resort down in the description box it is beautiful like look at where i am the gym is also here and a casino we the galleria the galleria mall baby like there's a kid's another time i think to be fair to this place i would have to spend at least like five days literally literally because this little what 18 hours is not enough for me to show you guys anything just enjoy a glimpse in what this could be because look how long this is crazy It feels very cold. That'd be amazing. Get the right? Good morning. I'm heading to the gym and I kind of forgot to show you the view from my room. When I get back, I'll show you or I'll just insert a video from my um, phone because I took a video. But yeah, there is definitely a beach not too far from my room. I'm going to head to the gym now and then I'll be back in a second. It's such a beautiful building. I'll finish with the gym. And I did a 30, 30 minute high inclined walk on the treadmill. And then I did five sets of 20 to 30 second sprints. And it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I feel really good. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna eat breakfast and then head back to the room. It's currently 9 a.m. Our pickup time is 2 p.m. So doing really good on time. Really good on time. to the shopping plaza section and it's crazy how much stores they have and they even have a pharmacy and clinic right here it is humongous like <laughs> when I tell you guys it's large it's not even large like it's huge I don't know if, <laughs> let me not even go in there but there's this commercial Celine on Barnes Pro I think it was Celine on Barnes or some other like insurance car mart like some huge thing wow funny but he was like it's huge and this is how huge this place is this is the view from the balcony i don't know just so peaceful so so peaceful there's the hot tub that i was showing you last night and the beach. How beautiful.
heading down now but tell me why my slippers bustled last night when I was stepping off of the um, trolley thing <sighs> normally I pack two slippers with me and this time I have one so now I'm gonna really start packing like I used to and I forgot the bottom to my swimsuit so I have to wear this because shorts and this top let's go our pickup time was changed to an extra hour so I'm eating some seafood there's a crab salad a squid salad and some clams clams oysters whatever they want to be called so I ended up getting seconds uh, more crab salad mussels <laughs> not clams but oysters <laughs> ceviche and paella it's all time for me to go all dressed up in my uniform I'm wearing my heels i've been wearing my heels more often this may be the end of the vlog and if it is make sure you subscribe 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 like up the video comment share it before you leave and if it's not the end of the vlog i'll see you in the next clip because who knows who knows <laughs> bye I was talking to myself when I decided that this video, this conversation, yes, I talk to myself. And if you don't, then are you okay? <laughs> Anyways, I was talking to myself and I realized that I haven't gone anywhere. Like, I haven't gone out or done anything other than like a family. Well, I lied. I just remember now. I was definitely lying to myself. Okay, the time when Kai came up and then the time when Sashana came up. That's different. That's like with family that don't count but i haven't gone anywhere with friends <laughs> like you know like even work friends university friends i'm not talking family that's family um in such a long time and one of my co-worker turned friends joe she her birthday was january 7th um and i could not celebrate it with her because she wanted to do like a spa day thing with a couple of us girls especially some that she met from work and i couldn't go i had a trip um but she said that we're gonna have like happy hour drinks and food i'm not gonna i'm gonna have um non-alcoholic beverages because i'm still doing my thing um but I looked at the menu and they had some good stuff. It's Tommy Bahama in Manhattan. Manhattan. Um, I need to go to the gym. I need to wash my uniform shirt and leave by 3 o'clock. But anyways, I was just reminiscing like, dang, like I don't really do anything. So like me going, me not canceling last minute is crazy. <laughs> so she had to do a head count for the reservation. So now I really can't be like, oh, I'm sick. I can't. So yeah, I was thinking about that like damn. I'm gonna take the train because there's no way I'm gonna find parking in Manhattan and I'm not stressing myself out to find parking there. Even though it would be nice to just drive and come straight back home, I will be taking the train. And it's one train and then like a seven minute walk, which is not bad. But I wanted to wear heels, so now I'll just wear thick boots and then outside is really, 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 really cold. So I'm like, can't wear my cute little outfit outfit that I had planned out. I have to wear something like cute but warm because she wants us to dress up. So it's like, oh. Too much to do anyway so yeah i was talking to myself i was doing this conversation but to myself so i was like let me just pull out my camera welcome to the vlog my name is bakana if you're new here i do lifestyle and travel flight attendant vlogs and yeah welcome to my channel i have so much videos to edit and upload I really want to get caught up and I, every time I say I want to get caught up is like I keep digging myself deeper and deeper and deeper but this time we're gonna get caught up I diver anyways I'm gonna vlog today it's gonna be a daily vlog I'm gonna try to make it a daily vlog so let's make breakfast let's go to the gym let's do the laundry and go out today bye oh by the way look at my nails I don't ever get these colors but I've decided that this year will be the year. Rawr. This year will be the year, the year that I do different stuff. 
still within my comfort zone because I'm the type of person that if I don't like something and it's on my fingers and I have to look down on it every single day, I'm gonna be mad. I will be upset. I hate it. So I love this so much. It's a dark blue and I realized I used to get pastel colors which I just don't think fits me. I don't know. But I love this color so much. I already have another color in mind that I want to get and I think it's going to be green. But it's going to be like a this type of green. I just think like deep, like oof, that, that sounded weird. Deep bright colors, like if that makes sense. It's a bright color but it's deep. You get what I'm saying? I think that fits me and I think I like that. So this time for real, for real, bye. If you make your mind up, if you love me, every night you make your mind up. The only you give me love and make me nice, so nice, so nice, so I feel make your mind up. But I love you plus I never make your mind up. If I let you smoke, it's you gon' lose my light up. If you better know that I'ma spend a night. You don't think that I love you and every day. I'ma dance with you with my money. Testing, testing, testing. So I don't know if y'all could hear me a while ago and I have a feeling that you probably couldn't, but this is my outfit. Scarf is polo, jacket is Zara, purse is from Shein, top is from um, Zara, skirt, sport, because there's a shorts underneath it, is from Victoria's Secret. Boots are Doc Martin, the boot heels, Mary Jane boot heels, and yeah, I'm all ready to go. I'm gonna run over to CVS first, and then I have a train to catch in about 20 minutes. Um, I have my little bracelet on, my Apple Watch, rings, my nails, and again, the purse. It has a short strap, shorter strap, and a long crossbody strap. On my lip, my upper lip's sweating, but I have a napkin. <laughs> On my lip is the um, Sephora number 96 lip stain and Fenty's um, MVP velvet lip stain. Let's go. Unlike the rest of us, Sex, Dyes, and Scandal never take a vacation. Instead, they take the Long Island Expressway and head east to the Hamptons. Some would say so. I just caught the train and I am freezing already. I need some gloves. That's what I need. Oh shit, let me activate this pass. Alright, bye. This building is so pretty. Just got to the Tommy Bahama store and I'm waiting for Joe to text me because she's here already. Um, if it's the second floor, do I go in the store then up to the second floor or do I just go up to the second floor from this main entrance? So, I don't know, but let's go. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Nice. They have this coconut egg, January 15th. Um, it's in a bad hotel. It was very cute. Cool. Mm. You only each pick. Mm. Go ahead, girl. Do what you gotta do. No, that was really nice. Oh, whoa. Oh, do you wanna taste? Do you wanna try something else? They have. The fig and prosciutto flatbread, and they also have the black and mm. salsa. Oh my god! Drink some of your juice now. Okay. Like right after you eat, just drink some. Oh, it's like it brings out the taste. It hits different. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow! Mm. I can taste the flower. <laughs> yes. That's the thing. The appetizer is supposed to like wet your palate. And it did. It's supposed to like open it up to like for the entree. 
It tastes more coconutty. Yeah, it like it brings out the flavor yeah, or something. Yeah, you need sometimes you need a little season on that your tongue to, to wow. taste the other flavors. Damn. Right, let's move I don't know if we were real hungry or what, but we kind of ate those sliders <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> real quick. First of all, I did come on an empty. I came on an empty stomach. Oh, empty stomach. Because you know you want to eat a lot. That's true. Oh. I don't want to come here full. That is true. Alright, how are we going to do this? So okay, guys. This looks like um, hummus. Yes. That's what it looks like. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Go to different restaurants. Got the bread here. Mm. Let me see. Oh, wow. Is it good? Mm hmm. Is that, um, this looks like mango, not mango. It does look like mango. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. What's this then? Mm. Good. He's been working here for years. Ooh. I said, okay. Mm. popping out. It's so sweet. When I first came. Fish the tacos, tacos. The tacos. The cheese. Mm -hmm. That's the best seller. And the sliders. What's, mm. what's your favorite thing? Co uh, the coconut shrimp. The coconut shrimp? Mm -hmm. We didn't get to the entree yet. We still doing the appetizers. We had the tacos, the goat cheese, and we had the, what else we have? The sliders. The sliders, yeah. They have a live music playing right now, and there is a JP Morgan, like, private event going on. Um, so... So give me one second and I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't fuck with the airplane water. <laughs> Listen, take every every bit. This is my second drink, but this one is a um, zero proof. There's no alcohol in this one. Uh, yeah, yeah. This. Those movies though. No. Can't get up. The the um. We just got this drink from one of the servers. He was so nice. He gave all of us a drink. Let me show you a picture that I have. So, that was so nice. Oh, wow. Four layers of white cake with crushed pineapple on the layers and toasted coconut on the outside. <laughs> I mean, y'all can't lie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. Okay. I will we got Miss Celebrity walking into her car. Oh, shit, Armani! She's okay. like, I'm right here. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Good night. Wait, you sure that's this guy? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Thank you for coming out. It was nice meeting you. Hopefully we get to fly together. We'll have more outings in the future. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Armani's a uh, celebrity. The way she's like, hi. Ta -ta. <laughs> right? Thank God. I don't know, I had a little paranoia running through my mind 
Thanking Jesus Christ, am I gonna make it back home alive? I know it's so eerie to think like that, but it's the reality of the world that we live in. Um, and plus I don't usually go out, so <sighs> me taking a train, coming back home, is like, Jesus, anything can happen to me. But they had little cards, live the island life. And I'm gonna put it in my memory box. I asked for one because I gave it back because I didn't realize that they were just little cards. Anyways, um, and they gave me two. So they're both going in my memory box of tonight. I have a memory box from high school, a memory box from college, and now a memory box from my young adult life, I guess. I'm going to shower, drink water, watch a movie and go sleep i've got no intentions to do anything else for the rest of the night and i'm not gonna end off this video until tomorrow since i don't know how long this vlog is but tomorrow i have to sign in at 2 49 i'm just gonna keep going until i head to work and then call it off anyways i gotta pee so bye see you in the morning Alright, B squad, I'm gonna hand off the video here. There is two of us on the plane, me and I believe the captain, maybe the first officer. Uh, I'm just putting away my bags and I did my pre flight. I was gonna record earlier today, like me going to the gym, packing my bag, getting lunch and breakfast and those things ready, but I was tired. Like, I barely made it to the gym. But I had a really great gym day, so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll good, see you good, later. Good. Jesus. Alright guys, we are here in Cancun again. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. again very quick room tour this time i have the single bedroom i've already made myself very comfortable here so i'm just gonna come through and show y'all real quick in my pajamas in my pajamas and here is the room very nice of course the mini fridge is not working again so <laughs> they're gonna send me up that coca-cola fridge again i know for a fact it's gonna be that red coca-cola fridge um so yeah no spectacular view very similar to last time and our swing which i'm really excited to use in the morning after i go to the gym and yeah this is the room make sure you check out that previous vlog with mexico in it if it's not already this vlog because i have an idea that i may do and i may not do it but still check it out if it's not a part of this video and yeah, I'm going to check my bed and finish editing and go to sleep. So, good night. We are going to the gym. This is my tie head for sleeping. My scarf for sleeping. Oh. Jesus Christ. Sorry, God. Um, yeah. This one is for working out. So I'm about to just put it on my hairline. No, you know what? I'm going to put it like this. Like this. Wow. Um, on Saturdays and Sundays, today is a Saturday, I do a walk. Guys, y'all would not believe I'm watching my vlogs from, I think it's last month. Or, yeah, last, I'm watching my vlogs from December. And, oh my God, I was gaining a lot of weight. I met up on myself like, whoa, like nothing is wrong with it. 
But I was like, ooh. I didn't know that. And now I'm seeing like the transformation. Because my other video where I wear one dress. I mean, I said like, oh, don't mind my food bump. Which it was because I did eat some food prior. But girl, it's before. <laughs> it was more than that. Um, so now I'm looking at myself. Now I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. On Saturdays and Sundays we walk for 30 minutes. Today I'm in the mood for a sprint. So if I'm still in the mood after me do the 30 minute walk do a 10 minute sprint i'll do that i'm not gonna bring you guys to the gym with me because i have a feeling we'll put people up there and i should have been at the gym already but i brought my vlog camera to the gym before so you you know how this gym look uh so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna eat breakfast i don't know if i told you last night but the fridge they did not have a working fridge the fridge that they used to like replace fridges that didn't work also didn't work so my food is downstairs in the kitchen in their fridge so i was really grateful for that i did bring some milk i have some cereals so i think i may eat that but i also may treat myself to some food for breakfast because it was so good and we get a discount it was so so good the last time i was here so i may do that and bring com containers I bring my yeah um anyways <laughs> bye this is my ootd just my red flip flops because in punta cana my black ones popped out so i'm wearing the red ones from tory birch skirt is from shein top is from victoria's secret and yeah that's really it that's really it so let's go get breakfast Breakfast. Had some fruits, veggies, and everything. Omelet, green tea, and the green juice. Have my book right there. Gonna distract myself for a minute while I enjoy my food. Time to leave Cancun and it is chilly outside it is actually a bit cold like I have on a long sleeve my jacket and scarves and I'm not hot I'm not sweating and I love to sweat on my nose and my upper lips and nothing so I'll see you guys on the plane Bye. Bye. doing a little retail therapy went into Hollister and got a couple things and now uh, we're gonna go we're to the food court gonna head to the food court all right we're going to try this Jamaican restaurant in the mall we're at the Bay Plaza mall and it's called Scotch Bonnet so we'll see if it lives up to the official authentic taste. Right, this is my food. I got a can saltfish dumpling and plantain. Chad got um we get curry. Curry goat. Curry goat, rice and peas and plantain. Won't be able to talk long. He's playing um, some Jamaican music, so I'm going to test out the food and see what I think. Um, yeah, he said he cook it himself, and that he's looking for a cook. So if you're in the New York area, you can cook. Come over, and you want a job? Come over to Scotch Bonnet in the Bay Plaza Mall. The actually taste nice, it's cool fresh. Thing, really cool though. Yeah. The actually taste nice. Mm -hmm. And fried dumpling needs some work. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> yeah. But we can't tell that the plantain tastes nice because the plantain just looks 
It looks like it tastes nice. Let me taste my ears. No, no, no. I'm not going to put the camera on. Take a piece of chat for you, Lord. They smell nice. You can't get them to um, present this one. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I'm trying to cook everything himself. Mm -hmm. That's good too because wake up and cook so much. Yeah. Food, yeah. And then cheerful is a cheerful person. So, it's good. Hey B squad so I'm in Mexico yet again and I'm just gonna do a little bit of walking around this time I already went to the gym <sighs> I think I'm gonna try to walk over to the beach just to see what it looks like and then I'm also going to head to the pharmacy which is right next door I've also started to watch expats on Amazon Prime and so far so good everything Nicole Kidman in is in is really good <laughs> there's only two episodes out and I hear it's a six episode limited series. So, let's go on the streets of Cancun. It's pretty warm here in Cancun. The last couple times I've been here, it's been really, really cold. So I just haven't, oh, I'll be right back. So I haven't really been um, outside, but as you can see from the previous clip, it's so humid that the lens are getting foggy. So if at any time it gets foggy and I don't notice, I'm sorry. But the pharmacy is right across from the hotel. So first and quickest stop. Oh, push. push, push. Oh, here are some snacks. I want to buy, um, should I buy tahini? Because I really like the way it tastes um, on fruits. I think I should get it. I will get it. But then here are some chips. I'm not really um, a big chips person anymore. But it's interesting to see. Ooh, look, ruffles. It's queso flavored. <laughs> it's interesting to see the different flavored stuff. This one is Mega Crunch Salsa Roja flavored. That's so cool. All right, let's see what else we can buy. Mommy used to buy these a lot. These are really nice. You can find them, I think, at like Walg Wegmans, Trader Joe's, those type of places. All right, let's see what we can find. I'll be right back. All right, so I've left the pharmacy. I was looking at the numbers and I was like, ooh, for some reason this looks reasonable. But then I did the conversion and it's actually much much more expensive than I was thinking I'm not buying a keychain for five dollars I'm not um, so I left the pharmacy I just got to be realistic like this is a highly tourist area Ooh, H &M. Let's go to H &M. this is a highly tourist area of course things are going to be marked up in some of the local stores because you gotta it gotta make sense and you know people don't really think about it like that and they spend money but we're not gonna do that but anyways look at this area i like it so my hotel is right here and like all up here walking distance you can enter from the back or the front let's actually go over these steps 
There is a gondola and a little um, river. I just think it's so cute. There's Starbucks, H&M, Aerie, here's Sephora, Louis Vuitton, Armani Exchange, so many places. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping if I see any reasonable prices, and then I'll be right back. So here's the base of that huge um, Ferris wheel. <laughs> But I've never seen it working. Like, no matter how many days I come, I never see it working. And it's a Sunday. So you'd think they'd at least have it working on a Sunday. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of places. But when I look up the price, and I'm a price girly, regardless of where in the world I am, if you've ever watched any of my other YouTube videos, especially back in Jamaica, then you'd know. When it comes to price, I want it to make sense. And, um,. The last time I went to Sephora, they didn't have the lip gloss that I wanted. And I was like, okay, I'm in Sephora in Mexico. Maybe they have it. So I went over there. They didn't have it, but they still had the price out. And I looked it up. It's a whole $10 more than if I had bought it in New York, which is crazy to me. And granted, like, it wasn't New York City. New York City, I was, like, on the outskirts of New York City. But... Being that it's ten dollars more here, I'm not. But I'm not doing that to myself. I'm not doing that to myself, and it's even cheaper online. So, um, I don't have it like that to just be spending willy nilly, especially not in this economy. Um, so yeah, I didn't get anything. <laughs> but there's a lot of stores. So if you guys want to come down to, I'm gonna pop the name of the plaza on the screen because I don't really know the name I just know that it's close to my hotel um, there's a lot of stuff a lot of shopping if you have a longer time than I do which you probably will then this is a nice area to come walk around it's not too crowded it's very calm very quiet people are nice a lot of people speak English if English is your only language a lot of speak people speak English yeah other than that Mexico. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's actually been a couple days since the last time I spoke to you guys. I'm so sick. I'm in the crew room heading to Phoenix, and today we're doing Phoenix to JFK to Phoenix. Phoenix to Las Vegas, Las Vegas back to Phoenix. 20 something hours. Let me see what the. 24 hours in Phoenix. And then. Um, a red eye. Phoenix back to New York. Tuesday. So I'll be gone for three days. Um, not the best lighting. So I'll see you guys when I can. If you're watching this, why are you so obsessed with me? Jeez, get a life.